Hey guys, this is Meat in the Raw here, and today I want to give you a little information about what insulinoma is in ferrets. Uh, insulinoma is a pancreatic cancer, and the pancreas uh, regulates your ferret's blood sugar levels. And when they have insulinoma, it kind of throws their blood sugar levels out of whack, and they can't be regulated as well, which is not a good thing and basically it'll have to be treated with medication. I mean, surgery doesn't always work, so medication is almost always crucial. Um, some signs of insulinoma to look for um, in, in your ferrets, if you're kind of expecting them, suspecting them maybe to have insulinoma. Um, some of the signs are sleeping a lot. If, say, they're a really active ferret, and then a couple days later, you start noticing that they're, they just don't run around as much or play or as much and they just would rather sleep and everything. That could be a sign. Um, another sign could be the frequent dead ferret, you know, uh, when like you pick them up when they're sleeping and they're like super floppy and you almost think that they're dead. Uh, yeah, if they, if they do that a lot, that could be another good sign. Uh, spacing out, basically exactly what it sounds like trouble waking up, um, kind of wobbly, don't have very good balance, dragging their hind legs, uh, unable to use their hind legs properly, um, stumbling or falling to one side, like if one side is weaker, that's a pretty good sign. Um, drooling, and basically exactly what it is, uh, pawing at the mouth, and either periods of no appetite where they just don't feel like eating at all and then periods of like gorging on food and just all of a sudden instead of eating nothing then the next day they they're just like numbing on as much food as they can get in uh, those can be some pretty good signs of um, what insulin they could ha possibly have insulinoma um, of course that those could be signs of other illnesses but those are some of the common ones of insulinoma. Of course you want to go and um, get a vet check, of course, because they're always the best solution. And um, you want to have their blood sugar checked up to make sure that, see if their levels, how they're doing and everything. And um, yeah, that's basic, those are signs and what it is. And um, yeah, I, I have one, one ferret who was diagnosed with insulinoma um, in February 2011. And uh, when I first found out that he had it, it was very scary. Um, the first day I found him, it, he definitely, he was very weak on his left side. He was at the bottom of, a, of his cage and he couldn't climb up his little ramp which was very weird I just I started freaking out I had no idea what it was and then I noticed that he was drooling a little bit at his mouth and kind of uh, pawing at it as well and um, I mean not just pawing but like you know they like scratch the inside of their mouth with their claws and you have to be careful because they might end up uh, scratching the inside of their mouth and making it bleed so you need to be careful if um if they if they're doing that so you need to make sure that kind of keep their claws trimmed and if they ever seize up then you need to make sure that their feet are taken that are not in the way um, but yeah it was very scary we thought that he had a heat stroke but um, it was actually insulinoma after we took him to the vet heat stroke has a couple of the symptoms of um, insulinoma but it was kind of weird because it was in the middle of winter so we really had no idea if that was really what it was or not but uh, yeah so um, that's how I got my experience from it but yeah he's okay now he's obviously had it for over yeah I think actually over a year now he's five almost to be five and um, just chipping along, being a good boy and being strong for his mom. So I'm proud of him. But um, anyways, that's all. And um, 
other thing I wanted to add is that when you have to um, feeding your ferrets, uh, the way insulinoma is kind of developed is by feeding your ferrets um, carbohydrates and carbohydrates are usually from like a raw um, dry food diet and that's how most ferrets are developed and, and getting it because I used to feed them uh, dry food like phew, like the first few years I had them and then after he got insulinoma I was reading more about their nutrition and all that and realized oh my god that's must must have been how he got it so I stopped them on dry food and moved all of them to raw and um, they all look really good and much happier and it's really good and also with um, his insulinoma the protein in the raw meat also helps regulate his blood sugar even better so um, I'm not sure exactly how it does that. I learned that in biology, but I'm kind of spacing on it right now. So um, if I figure it out, I'll tell you guys later. But anyways, um, yeah, protein is supposed to um, help a lot with it. And um, if they do have a crash, um, yeah, if they have the cr have a crash, you need to have like some Kero syrup, um, like on standby. I mean, some ferrets. The, sometimes the caro syrup doesn't work for Wolfie. It doesn't work for him anymore. Um, so we have to kind of take different measures for him. But um, that's what everybody recommends. Literally everybody. So make sure if your ferret is diagnosed with um, insulinoma to have caro syrup with you and a high protein meal such as, you know, duck soup or something, and I've seen it for sale like at PetSmart or whatever. So um, just have um, carrot syrup in your duck soup. And, and when you think that your ferret is seizing up, you can put some of the carrot syrup on their gums. And if it does work for them, then they should seem fine within, you know, I mean, maybe even seconds. So, um, but you have to be very careful because even though they're fine, even though they look fine and they might act fine, their blood sugar is still really low. So wait about, you know, 20 minutes and then give them some duck soup or a high protein meal if they're on raw meat or something and um, feed them about 20 minutes after they seem okay and maybe the seizure is over. So um, yeah, that's, that's what you would want to do and that's what I do. And then uh, they're on the prednisolone, that's usually the common one that they get, their medication would be prescribed to them as, and uh, all of that. So, yeah, insulinoma can be a pretty scary disease, and uh, it's kind of sad that these wonderful animals have to suffer through it. It's, it's so common, I swear, I hear people have, that their ferrets have it all the time, it's, it's really sad, but... Um, I think as long as you give them a good diet of raw meat and maybe even have them have good breeding and all of that, then they should definitely be okay. I mean, uh, I mean, my ferret who's diagnosed with insulinoma, he was a Christmas present. He was from Petco, but for when we first got him, we had no idea what insulinoma was or anything like that. So uh, I would definitely also recommend if you don't have ferret, definitely learn a lot about them because they can be some pretty fragile animals even though at the same time they're not. So uh, yeah, that's basically all. Just remember to have Kero syrup with you if your ferret is diagnosed with insulinoma. Remember to have some duck soup or a high protein meal. Um, also record like when they if they do seize up or anything like that like of course vet visits anything to do with their um, disease just make sure to record it and keep up with it and um, yeah it's a pancreatic cancer and and just give him as much love as he can it can it's really stressful for him so yeah 
that's basically all you can do. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.